Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is x squared plus y squared equals 12. And what I want to do is show you how to graph the equation of the ellipse. Well, remember, when we're basically looking at ellipses. Um, ellipses, technically, you know, are going to have our vertices and our, and our co-vertices, meaning we're going to have one major axis and one minor axis. And that is all dependent on what is your larger number divided by. Well, so if I want to set this equal, I'll divide by 12 on both sides. And what you'll notice is 12 will be the same number under x squared and y squared. So therefore, this represents the equation of a circle, which you could also probably just identify and say, oh yeah, that's an equation of a circle, because the general form of the equation of a circle looks like this, uh, r squared. So cool. So to graph this, all I simply need to do is identify the center and the radius. So center is h comma k, and the radius is equal to um, r. Okay. So h comma k, well, I'm not subtracting anything. So in this case, I just have 0, 0. And r squared is equal to 12. So to solve for r, take the square root. r equals um, the square root of 12, which can be broken down into square root of 4 times 3, which r equals 2 square root of 3. Now, square root of 12 anyways, if you just want to estimate it, it's going to be anywhere between 3 and 4, because 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. So unless you want to use a calculator, uh, I'm not going to be able to get exact. You know, I'm kind of making up my table here. Um, so you're going to want to estimate anywhere between 3 and 4. So from my center, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is your lovely equation of my lovely circle. Thanks.